Hey you guys, what is up? It is Drew and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be discussing on pretty much what happened to my 2011 Mustang GT. Cut that. Okay. So, pretty much if you don't know, my uh, 2011 Mustang was starting to have some issues. Um, I suspected it could have been the drive shaft or rear end in terms of also the rear axle and my reasoning was because there was a kind of, of a roaring noise. coming from the rear end could have also possibly been from the middle you know obviously you have the transmission which comes to right here around your arm side and everything else behind would just be the drive shaft and rear axle so pretty much what happened was it was a couple of bearings that were pretty much that needed to be replaced the car was definitely a little bit on the higher mileage side of things creeping up above 100,000 miles. It was, I believe, close to 115,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously some bearings, bushings, things like that tend to get worn out. And obviously with the Roush blower, you're obviously pushing a lot more horsepower and a lot more torque. So there's a lot more stress being caused onto parts like those. And, you know, so it wasn't really a surprise. And, you know, pretty much, got it off at Ford, you know, dropped it off. Everything was covered under with the warranty, you know, got a two year warranty on the car. It's about to end soon. So I figured might as well get, get this fixed, you know, if it's gonna get, be covered under the warranty. And that was pretty much it, or so I thought. Turns out now it was also the rear differential that was pretty much messed up. They didn't go into much details about what happened but you know the rear differential costs quite a bit of money so you know if it was just a simple bearing job you know they wouldn't go to the extent of changing out the rear differential so pretty much what i suspect it was definitely the rear differential it was more on the things that i suspected could have been wrong but it could have also been obviously with the combination of the bearings that helped promote that roaring sound that you would hear from the rear end in a couple of my videos. Now, pretty much all that is going to be done is we're going to have to put in a new rear diff. So, I mean, that's pretty good. You know, got a brand new differential going into the rear axle of my Mustang. So we definitely could beat on it a lot more and not have to, to worry about grenading a diff, anything like that. So, and obviously you got the new bearings that were going on the axles and I believe pinion gear so gears I'm pretty sure everything was okay I'm definitely gonna figure out if that was changed or if that was even damaged I'll let you guys know but pretty much just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what was going on with the whole situation and I'll insert a couple of clips things like that just so you guys can also help diagnose if you guys are also having this problem I'm not sure if it's you know anything that's particularly common with these s197 coyote mustangs but it definitely was something that you know once i purchased the car didn't have any of no noise or anything like that but as soon as i started to drive it i didn't push it or anything that hard but it was one of those things that it just progressively got louder and louder to the point where i figured it might as well get it replaced now then wait and maybe it blows up in the summer and now i can't drive it in the summer After listening to those clips, you can definitely see a lot of the noise 
was coming, especially when you were in gear, every time I'd either push in the clutch or have it in neutral, you obviously wouldn't hear the noise. So it made sense why it was the differential and a couple of bearings. Now, if you're having this issue, you know, it, I also have this issue pretty much upon deceleration, you know, being in gear, you know, sometimes, you know, you do a third to fourth gear, small little pull or something like that, and you just let off the gas and I would hear this roaring sound. So that was also helping diagnose the actual issue and along with, you could pretty much hear it every single gear. It just progressively got louder once you got into the higher gears because you know, the engine isn't in a high RPM band, meaning the exhaust isn't as loud, right? Basically you just hear the noise a lot more louder because the, the overall car is quieter. So you can isolate that sound a lot more better. Where obviously going from one, two, and three, you're definitely in the higher 3000 and above RPM. So you can barely hear that noise, but you can also diagnose this sound by also hearing it upon deceleration while being in gear. And this is any gear possible. So, I mean, if you're hearing it in just a specific gear, it might be something else. It could be possibly transmission issues because you're only hearing it in certain gears. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give a quick update of what's been going on with my 2011 Mustang GT and why there hasn't been as many videos with that car. And I just wanted to put out this video to see if any of you guys were also having that issue. Some I've had a couple people contact me saying they've also had uh, rear axle issues, differentials, um, you know, gears that it could have been. So I'm just putting this out there just to see if anyone else might be having this issue because every time I would try to search something on YouTube, I wouldn't find anything. That's pretty much it for me. It is Drew and I'm out and I hope you guys have a nice day.